All right, I think I got the volume too loud. Uh, no, I think that's fine. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Ray Ace Attorney. I'm in my own room. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm in a residence room. Recording a video. Nah, uh, that was a close one, huh, Mia? Aw, damn it. She fucking isn't there anymore. So in the last episode, we began the trial. We found out that the producer and the director may have been involved. Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Damn it. So, what happened? Uh, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now I need some motive. And proof. And evidence. Wow, good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system. Tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? I have, n I have no idea if the apple can pick up in here. This is like... This is all that's in here. She's like, bagging like, it's bed. There's a backstory behind this, um, but we'll get to that later. It's a new court system that they introduced here three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So in that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we got no time to waste. Alright, so, the steel salmon dark is out by Andy. I'm getting my own. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel salmon costume? What? You and Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah. But Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. Why did he go through the trouble of stealing it? I don't know, that's what we have to find out. Director's alibi. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear the producer and director were both in the trailer. Huh? Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime was Studio 2, where the trailer is. What? Hmm, is one always as excitable? Any ideas? Well, have you noticed anything that might help us? I can't see what's going on when he is here, so no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Can we should go talk to WP? Sure, let's fucking do it. Alright. What's up, guys? Jenny Hillers? Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Does that face right there look like he's going to burst into tears? Wow, Nick. You must have really wowed him in there. You just stop looking so vulnerable, too. Hey, WP. Only one day left. Let's make it count. Yes. Though there's not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do, either. It's no laughing matter. Why does he look like he's about to murder me? He's like... <sighs> I do not know... You, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Could you tell me more about that fucking director? Uh, the producer? Oh, the producer. She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dare tells her any difference these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? No, oh, no, she gave me a job and she... Uh, not to forget. I only hear rumors anyhow. Fuck. Oh, damn it. I gotta get I was worried about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, well, he really did, actually. Yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. I just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in a little production at Global. How could he do that? I don't know. He's really going forward to a sequel to Stammery Summer. He just gave up being the star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss v Vasquez Vasquez came to five years ago. I don't know what happened. Director Manella. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight to video director. Something that's work caught her eyes. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Everyone knows the name Sal Manella. I heard it's pretty much out of, out of Beck and Call, though. Whenever she says jump, Yes, how high and all that. I can't imagine him being in our control, though. I can't imagine him jumping. Well, that's all the information we got so far. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, let's check the evidence. I don't want to be here. That's exactly the reason I don't want to be here, guys. Yo, know, Wimbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick? I think your guard's down. Yeah. I don't think he even eat those donuts in the guard station we wanted. 
<laughs> wow, she is having one of those days, I guess. You eat, you die. Oh, she's alive. I was wondering about B, the producer. Oh, the studio big would love her. So it gets her way. Seems better. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want to talk about her. I'm so sorry. What about Vanilla? Sal? He's a... He's soft, a pushover. Does whatever she tells him to. He's cheesing like dirt. I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? I don't know. There's probably people out there like that. Doesn't make any sense, doesn't it? No, it doesn't mind. What about Mr. Hammer? What about Mr. Hammer? I heard about what you said today. You whippersnappers, we're all Hammer. You drag his star down from the sky and stuff. Call him a criminal, a thief. I, 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 forget this. Uh-oh, she really pissed this time. You listening? Oh, great. Here we go again. Here we go again. She, I'm going to, like, press this, and then the it's just going to go automatic. You listen to me, Whippers Never. My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. He would steal powers of costume so he could sneak by me. He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. Now, if you excuse me, I'm just going to let you, uh, cool down. I swear to God, that fucking kid is back. I guess they're not filming today either. I do want to see them filming just one time. The show will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come and see them film later. I guess. Where you found this bottle of sleeping pills, right? Yep. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Oh, great. No, 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 no touching! Ah, shit. Oh, did we get knocked out? Nope. Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. Didn't mean I was at a heart attack. Actually, I did, but, like, me and Satan. <laughs> I guess it can be a little dramatic sometimes. At times. I guess it's the actor in me. Neat. Um, anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on the table. Are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Chase is there, uh... Sure. The plate. So you're looking for Chase of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, you gotta take the plate back to the... present. But I have the... But I have the possibilities to make a cursory examination right here. Sign, this guy gave me some test and solution. It's reacts to sleeping pills, see? Here the traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat! Well, reminds me of the one thing that I saw. <laughs> like, reacts to drugs and shit, or whatever. Well, it's you, don't you wait, you waiting. Now, now. Everything in due time, pal. Alright. Let me guess, it doesn't work. Well, test solution on the plate changed color, alright. Whoa. So there were sleeping pills on the plate? Yeah, it changed. I'm not sure the agreement was ever formed. I want to say that. It just change your... Looks like it. State plate after the court record. All right. Prosecutor Edgeworth. Why would I want to ask about him? How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. Some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it. I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Fuck Mr. Edgeworth, man. He's a dick. How is Edgeworth doing anyway? Eh, he's fucking... He's out of control. He's in the waiting room and he crushed me. Wow. Whoa. Talk about Burns, pal. Well, I mean, we did beat him, like... Four trials right now. Um, and he's supposed to be a really good prosecutor. Talk about Burns, pal. Wow, the victory of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups. Bottles? What's next? Jars? Say, what happened to that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Oh, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim Jack Hammer's prints on the ball. Knew it. So that means... Yep, it sounds like the one who powers asleep was none other than the victim. So I was right! So I guess that means we got his alibi set up. Maybe? Oh, hello. Oh, it's here. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I found pills. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? What? Why? But WP's innocent. Yes, I'm really grateful for all you've done. But... So we can last episode of Steel... Aww. Shit. Oh, she's broke. Alright, let me guess. Why? 
the last episode yet. Yeah, uh, uh, I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes, I'm about David Murray. He went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole a seal samurai costume too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Because he's a fucking murder. Oh, I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah, it's uh, some kind of hold on Hammer. She has some g do anything? Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt, you know, bad stuff. Oh shit. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. He used the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. I thought they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? What do you mean the last... <laughs> oh, she's gonna break down and cry. I know it's a shot, but nothing can get me done to save it now. I really did kill Mr. Hammer. I also signed a Steel Samurai's death warrant. No. No! I'll say Kiro from the studio is going to change his programming. I'm not going to make Kiro's anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what studio, Global Studios decided. There's no policy. Why aren't they going to make Kiro's anymore? Studio Bigwigs don't want to Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all... They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? I guess they just, um... You know, I don't know. But one of the kids who love the Steel Samurai. It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. I knew he ordered to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. I'm speaking for all the kids here, not just for myself. Nick, say something. Um, yeah. I think... It's kind of in words. It's called... Take a look at... What am I supposed to look at? <laughs> it's a, I, sorry, that just like came out of nowhere. Never had that, never done that in a long time. And this is a fan collection of all these photographs. These kids love the Steel Samurai. The show could be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I don't think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Globe Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Tell me everything. Okay. Perfect. You got it. Did you tell us what happened five years ago? I'm gonna, like, yeah, I'm tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died and it was Hammer's fault? Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer managed to hush it up. Of course. That's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything she asked him to. It was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? You know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. He was afraid about what would happen to his career if work cut out. Oh, I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Holbag. She was here at the studios back then, you know. We're probably gonna get nothing out of that if she'll talk. Well, thanks for that. She got some dirt. That could be. A, that could have been the motive, maybe. Hmm. D probably got Mr. Hammer to go and drug him. Um. Hmm. That is weird. Why is there? Oh, never mind. That's the pills were there too. Probably. That's probably um. How he got drugged. For some reason, I thought he like, drugged his drink or something. How do we do this? Why, well, you're still sinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take it, take over for me? The old one that doesn't look so good. I would. Everyone's doing the darnest to forget Hammer. Who do they think Stewie's made it? Who do take? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer. She's starting to frog in the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. Hey, uh, Phoenix, do lawyers carry guns? Just in case, you know, um... Um, I want to ask you about five years ago. Well, that triggered her. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh... Nichols? Nichols? Nichols. Nick? Penny Nichols. This is what we talked to. All right. All right. Anyway, we heard about that accident. Was there a film of Jackhammer? He killed a man. And he... Snappers! 
We turn on someone's past like that. We should be party, no less. What do you think? This is fun? Um, maybe? No, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. You claim that that hammer stole Powers' costume? You starting to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm. Well, I mean, I do have proof. I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. It had to be the sleeping pills, right? Here's my proof. What? Some little empty bottles supposed to prove. It's a bottle of sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. What is that proof? I sure hold the hammer had some sleep this night. Did you prove it? Okay. I knew we were going to do this again. <laughs> Take that! Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, right? Well, yes. So? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. Oh, so he just grinded it up and just put- and just spread it on the steak? I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Soulbag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? I'm tired of holding all in. Miss Soulbag? You're right. Five years ago, there was an incident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. Cosmaster. Guess who made it all better? That name. It's top. Oh, oh, fuck. Um. Hey, hey, Maya. Is, is it too late to turn around and run for the hills? She has ties to the fucking mafia. Oh my god, she more than likely killed him. That was the beginning. I have eventually became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. I have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. So bad. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Soulbag. Here, take this. A photograph. Holy shit! Oh, that... Oh! Fuck, man! What the hell happened to make that happen? Oh my god, that Ben just stabbed him in the stomach. Wait a second. It's the picture. Is this the trailer here in Suzu? I was supposed to fight with the bad guy on the top of those stairs. Whoops. Oh, once she said they were supposed to fight. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Fell into the fence. Oh my god. But how'd you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. No. Right. Is it we're bringing this bitch down? Still didn't have that shit faked. God damn it! Oh, we can't go into this. Then he back me to the day of the murder. The champ wants to steal Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2. Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him. Like the director or the producer. Yeah. I'm taking your ass down. I just realized you... That hood, I thought that was hair. Hey, Nick. It's her. Hello. H E L L O. H E L L O. Look, Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. What's up? I was hoping there'd be something about five years ago and expose her ass. Um, excuse me, Mr. Hammer came around the day of the murder and. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. Oh, shit. Um, Mr. Paris wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You did it. Nick, she did. She's the killer. My fake blood speaks to me. I know it. I know it. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, true, but... I was wondering if you could tell me something. Well, that kind of scared me. I should probably close that window. 
wonder if you could tell me about Mr. Manila. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer. By yourselves. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, I didn't want to have to do this. But I'm gonna do it. This might get me killed. Watch this. I'm gonna get a game over by this. I swear to God. She's not even looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? Well, I have connections like you. Old bag. Old? She's a security lady, Miss Old Bag Nick. And you do it anyway. Woman, you hit the sensor for the press, didn't you? Maybe you use the control, Mr. Hammer. Maybe. The wind. It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. The conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Do I, like, want to? I swear to God, she's gonna have a gun aimed at me. Hm, <laughs> you came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? She's so eager to talk all of a sudden. Miss, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you can control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kid shows for pay change. <laughs> so I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. He used the driver so Hammer down from his rival place as a star. Oh? I haven't pulled anyone down from anyone. This Mr. Hammer's crew went sour of its own accord. It's bullshit. Well, probably. You were the cause. You pressured him. I think it was just an accident. Excuse me? What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. Oh, Jesus! How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be like if it wasn't an accident? Then it would be murder? No. No way. Did Mr. Hammer did on purpose? That is why. I'm not liking her face, her, her facial expressions all of a sudden. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Hm. I'll show you a take down my own bitch. Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard. Believe you me. Security lady said it was an accident. Oh, well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped at the reporter who brought that phone into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hand, she did. Gave him a few, a few bruises, too. That's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, a reporter would need this in negative. He could have made a copy, but he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me now. What? This is valuable evidence. The fuck did these guys come from? Hey, um, just to let you know, all this is being recorded. So, the evidence is being recorded and transmitted on YouTube. If you want to say anything about it, come find me. You never know where I am. Hello, you lovely gentlemen. Who, who are they? Professionals. They're gonna erase these very things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? The trial is tomorrow? How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so bad? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? I should be. Vasquez care about it all. I don't fucking know. I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, erase it. No! Shit, are we gonna get shot up? Hold it right there, motherfuckers! I heard everything, pal! D! You're committing. You're coming down to pr prison with me. Oh, it's like. I have fucking four mobsters armed with fucking LMG assault rifles, AK-47 bitches. Hmm, not bad. You saved our ass. Very well. Here's this contest we decide tomorrow then, in court. I'll be looking forward to it. So why are these other four guys, what are they going to do? You saved our ass. Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry, I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just do my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, I just want to say that, but I never since I became a director. Detective. Eh, I suck ass. Okay, I got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. How did this sit? How did. I'm pretty sure if that happened in real life, they, they would have smoked his ass. Well, Nick, let's see if we're getting close to the bottom of this. 
He's at the bottom. Can you guys please? Oh shit! To be continued. Looks like we're on a court tomorrow, boys. Holy shit! We got some. Uh, I'm scared. Um. So what? Uh, we're going to like. I swear to God, I'm not gonna be surprised if Edward tries to fucking. You know, I'm gonna save that for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace.